the latest method of bypassing safety net and fixing CTS profile faults on the Xiaomi POCO F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you the latest method of bypassing safety net and fixing CTS profile faults on your Xiaomi POCO F1. Why are we running into this issue? We are running into this issue because Google made some changes in the backend and John Wu, the developer of Magisk, did send out a tweet about it. And of course, that tweet is linked in the description of this video. Make sure you read that. Another thing I would like to mention is that this process might be very short lived because as per John Wu's tweet, if Google implements it how they plan to, then passing safety net on a device which has its bootloader unlocked might be next to impossible. For the latest updates on what is working, what is not working, I do recommend that you keep an eye on the pinned comment and make sure you read it. As you can see, I do have the POCO F1 which is running a custom ROM called POSP based on Android 10 with security patch of March 5th, 2020. Will this method work on other ROMs? Yes, it will work on other ROMs as well. However, you are going to lose Widevine L1. Your certificate will be rolled back to L3. How do you fix that? You'll have to install MIUI 11.0.6.0, add a fingerprint, get the new certificate for L1. That should get your DRM status back to L1 and then you can flash any other custom ROM which you want to. And that is the only way of doing it. How do you do that? I have a separate video for that linked in the description of the video. The video might be for MIUI 10, but the process is same for MIUI 11 as well. Those things out of the way, what are the things which we need? We need to have an internet connection on your device. Then you need to have Magisk Manager installed and you need to have Tourp Recovery installed. The version of Tourp Recovery which I'm using is linked in the description of the video. And you do need one file which is called POCO F1 Safety Net Patch Temp.com zip we can first go into magisk manager and try to check for safety net and see what is the result which we are getting so cts profile is false for us we can also check another application which is safety net test and as you can see again safety net is failed first thing we need to do is we will turn off our device and boot into twerp recovery so to boot into twerp recovery you need to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the twerp recovery boot logo once we have booted into Twerp Recovery, we'll go into Backup and make sure that Persist Image and Persist are selected. Everything else can be left as unchecked. Make sure only these two options are checked and then swipe to Backup. This is going to create a backup of our Persist Partition and also make sure you note down this path. Next thing we'll go into Install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the Safety Net Patch zip file. In case you downloaded the file on your phone directly, it will be in the Download folder. In my case, I have transferred it manually so it is in the root directory. All you need to do is select the file and then swipe to confirm flash. Once that is done, all you need to do is select reboot system. Back into Android, we will unlock our device, open the Play Store and now you need to download an application called Terminal Emulator. So this is the application which we are looking for. Terminal Emulator for Android by Jack. Click on install and then click on accept. Once the application has installed successfully, we will click on open. It will ask for access to storage. Make sure the option is checked and then click on continue. It will give you a pop up that it was built for an older version of Android. All you need to do is click on OK. And now that we are on terminal, we need to type in SU and then press the enter key. You should get a super user prompt. Make sure you click on grant. Once that is done, we can click on the home button. And now that we are on the home screen, we'll go into Magisk Manager. Three bar menu on the top left, go into downloads, click on the search icon on the top right and here we need to search for Magisk Hide. So this is the Magisk module which we are looking for, Magisk Hide props config, click on the down arrow and then click on install, click on allow if it asks for access to storage. Once Magisk Hide Magisk module has installed successfully, we will click on the back button to go back and here next thing we need to search for is BusyBox. So this is the second Magisk module which we're looking for, BusyBox for Android NDK. Again, click on the down arrow and then click on install. Once BusyBox has installed 
successfully the next thing we need to do is click on reboot back into android we will unlock our device open magisk manager three bar menu on the top left go into modules and make sure that busybox and magisk hide are both installed and active how do you know they are active you can tell that by the check mark sign inside the circle next thing we need to open back terminal emulator type in su press the enter key this will get us into super user mode there it is you could see that terminal emulator was granted super user access and the next command which you enter is props so we are going to type in props p r o p s and then press the enter key it will get us a menu do note that you need to be connected to the internet at this point of time so these are the different options which we have the first option we need to choose is one which is to edit the device fingerprint and then press the enter key now it is asking us what do we need to do so the option we need to choose here is pick a certified fingerprint and the value corresponding to that is f so type in f press the enter key now it is giving us a list of brands an important thing to note over here is that if you are running say the pixel 4 xl rom or if you are running oxygen os then you will choose google and oneplus over here i am running a custom rom which means i am free to use xiaomi so in my case i will use xiaomi the number corresponding to that is 24 so i will type in 24 and press the enter key now it is giving me a list of devices from xiaomi so we are running the poco f1 and the number corresponding to that is number 31 so at 31 you have xiaomi poco f1 so we're going to type in 31 and then press the enter key now it is asking us which fingerprint do we want to use so we have options like android 9.0 pi and then android 10 so we'll use android 10 the number corresponding to that is 2 press 2 and then press the enter key now it is asking us to confirm our choice so type in y press the enter key it is working on it we need to wait and the next thing we need to do is reboot our device so type in y press the enter key it will reboot our device back into android we can unlock our device and then we can open the safety net test application run test and bam safety net is passing we can also open magisk manager and check over there as well there it is cts profile is true which means safety net is passed and working like a boss on the poco f1 and before i forget do note that the zip file which we flashed into app recovery did create a backup of your persist partition as well so if you go into the device's internal storage you will see a file called persist backup which is a backup of your persist partition either way we still have a backup using to recovery as well so i do recommend that you keep all these backups in a safe place in case you need them in the future so there it is peeps that is how you bypass safety net and fix cts profile false on your xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome See you when I see you.